Have you ever stumbled upon a classic figure on screen? Someone whose talent and presence captivated you from the first moment? Maybe you remember the first time you encountered this legendary actor and the impact it had on you. Reflecting on standout moments from their career can shed light on what truly defined their journey in the spotlight. Among the many performances in this actor's career, there's likely one that stands out as particularly memorable. Perhaps it's a specific movie, show, or TV movie that left a lasting impression on you. Those standout moments shape the actor's story and contribute to their lasting impact. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your connection to this timeless star adds depth to their impact on the world of entertainment. Keep watching for interesting facts about this classic actor. Let's celebrate together and honor the influence he had. Your thoughts and experiences matter. In the world of entertainment, there's a standout figure who really made his mark. He was incredibly talented, playing all sorts of roles that people loved. Whether he was a tough cowboy or a determined cop, he brought his characters to life in a way that stuck with you. People all over the world loved him for his memorable roles. His characters became symbols of bravery and determination. And even though he's not with us anymore, his work still inspires new generations of actors and storytellers. In the entertainment world, he's a true legend. His stories and characters are like threads woven into the history of movies and TV shows, making sure he'll always be remembered as one of the greats. So, when you think of timeless talent and unforgettable performances, his name will definitely come to mind. Back in the day, there was a TV star who made a big impact in Western shows. Despite being strong, he didn't often show off his muscles on screen. He played memorable roles like Jason McCord in Branded, where he only went shirtless a few times. But it was his part as Lucas McCain in The Rifleman that really stood out. Even though the show didn't last long due to low ratings, he formed a close bond with his co-star Johnny Crawford. Their friendship, both on and off screen, was special and stayed with fans even after the show ended. This actor, Chuck Connors, wasn't just known for his acting skills, but also for the real friendships he built. In his impressive acting debut, he played the role of a police captain in the movie Pat and Mike alongside well-known athletes like Babe Didrikson Zaharias and Don Budge. This was the start of a varied career that saw him move from movies to TV shows. Coming from the lively neighborhood of Brooklyn, he grew up as an altar boy at Our Lady of Perpetual Help Church, which laid the groundwork for his connection to the community. But it was on the set of the TV series The Rifleman where he truly made his mark in the entertainment world. Through his captivating performances, he won over audiences and became a part of television history. In a notable change from his usual heroic roles, he played John O'Scorzini in Werewolf. While his performance was strong, he reportedly clashed with his co-stars due to professional disagreements. Despite this, his contribution left a lasting impression on the industry, showing his ability to make an impact even in tough situations. From playing a police captain to handling a rifle in a famous TV series, he navigated the different sides of showbiz with skill and style. His journey, with its ups and downs, highlights the challenges of a career that influenced American television and film. In the big picture of Hollywood, his story fits in perfectly, showing the determined spirit of an actor who broke boundaries and left a lasting legacy. He graced the front cover of TV Guide five times, showcasing his popularity and prominence in the entertainment industry. Beyond his acting career, he enjoyed a diverse range of hobbies, including golfing, horseback riding, reading, swimming, fishing, writing poetry, spending time with family, playing baseball, engaging in philanthropy, and delving into politics. In June 1973, he struck an unlikely friendship with Soviet Secretary General Leonid Brezhnev during a White House meeting. This connection led to a significant moment in December 1973 when he traveled to the Soviet Union to present Brezhnev with two Colt revolvers. Despite his close ties, he faced a moment of exclusion in 1982 when he sought to attend Brezhnev's funeral service, but was denied inclusion in the officialist delegation despite his request to President Ronald Reagan. He was a man of many facets, from his successful acting career to his varied interests and significant encounters on the global stage. His impact extended beyond Hollywood, leaving an impression on international politics and diplomacy. In the tale of a towering athlete turned actor, his nickname stemmed from his sports days. Standing at an imposing 6'5 and weighing 215 pounds, with measurements of 45, 34, 41, he was a formidable presence. Initially hesitant to take on a particular role due to its low pay, the producers of a notable TV show considered others. However, observing his chemistry with a co-star in a beloved film, they recognized his suitability. 
They offered him a better salary, which he ultimately accepted, marking a crucial turning point in his career. In the 1980s, a renowned actor sought to transform himself into a horror film icon reminiscent of Boris Karloff. As described by director David Schmoller, this actor had a desire to reinvent his image. Before joining a popular TV show, another actor was an avid follower of this veteran's career, even watching his baseball games. This iconic TV series, which lasted for five seasons, came to an end when the two leads decided to pursue different opportunities. Despite the show's conclusion, their friendship remained steadfast. Both actors shared a passion for baseball, often bringing their equipment to filming locations. The influence of this actor extended beyond his roles, leaving a lasting impression on those around him. In November 1990, he learned of Burt Lancaster's stroke. Attempting to reach Lancaster's office, he found they weren't disclosing information. He backed Lancaster's nomination for the Cowboy Hall of Fame and signed petitions for the Lifetime Achievement Award in 1991. In the airplane, movies, notable actors made guest appearances, including Leslie Nielsen, Peter Graves, Chad Everett, Robert Stack, John Vernon, Kent McCord, and himself. On The Rifleman, he portrayed Lucas McCain. John Anderson holds the record for most unique character appearances, often as a heavy. In one season, he appeared twice consecutively. Despite being younger, he played Lucas' father-in-law in his final role. John Milford ranked second with 10 unique roles. He, too, appeared multiple times, including twice as the same character. Chuck Connors is famously known for his role as Lucas McCain in The Rifleman. Producer Arnold Levin revealed in an interview that the rifle Chuck Connors used on the show was the same one wielded by John Wayne in Stagecoach. He was a heavy smoker, consuming three packs of Camel cigarettes daily until the 1970s. However, he later became a face for anti-smoking campaigns in the mid-1970s. In a 1987 interview, he admitted to still smoking, albeit restricting himself to just one cigarette a day. While Chuck Connors had a brief stint in Major League Baseball, hitting only two home runs during his career, one of them was against Sal the Barber Magley of the New York Giants in the 1951 season. Magley had an impressive record that year with 23 wins, 6 losses, and a 293 era, earning him appearances in the All-Star Game and World Series. In the beginning stages of the show, the main character had a different name and story. He didn't start off with a son, but a producer suggested adding that aspect to the plot. Instead of being really good with a pistol, they decided to give him a special rifle. Interestingly, even though his character was skilled, you'd only see him smoking once in the entire series, despite the actor himself being a heavy smoker. According to a detailed book about his life, Chuck Connors' journey as an actor, especially during his time on the show, and afterward is explored thoroughly. The book talks about his experiences both on and offset, showing the difficulties he faced and the successes he had throughout his career. It's interesting to see how his character changed over time, reflecting his own growth as an actor. Additionally, the biography gives insight into his personal life, allowing readers to understand the man behind the roles he played. Overall, it's an informative read that provides a comprehensive look at Chuck Connors' life and his impact on the entertainment industry.